Hey y'all, real quick I wanted to show you what I've been doing um, to bake bread that's been making my life very easy here lately. Um, this is a loaf of bread that I just baked in the oven and um, this is a, a, I guess it, they call it a sunflower loaf, but it's got sunflower seeds, oatmeal, honey, molasses, wheat flour, white flour, uh, an egg and some milk in there and of course salt and sugar um, but I just put um, oatmeal everything but the bagel and poppy seeds on top and I do an egg wash on top of my bread and sidestep who are, who of you all are into Polish pottery I have a few things that I have been collecting in the last couple years and I am loving using that little pan to make bread in all right so here we go so this is a Cuisinart convection bread maker retails for about $279 and I found this at the thrift store for five dollars which I had been looking for one to um, do all the work of my dough for me so this bread oven is has the capabilities of doing one pound, one and a half, and two pounds. Does light, medium, or dark crust. And has this whole menu here of all the different types of bread that you can make. And it will bake your bread in the container for you. Um, it also has this wonderful function that I use all the time, which is number 10, which is dough pizza. Um, so I am easily able to take a dough recipe, dump all the ingredients in here, hit start, hit uh, setting 10 and start, and I can have dough to make a pie crust, a savory pie, a pizza crust, um, pot pie, anything that I need um, to do with some dough or a crust. And also, um, what I normally do is I use the dough function for all my bread making too. So I will um, just get a bread recipe out of one of these bread making machine recipe books, which I picked both of these up on eBay for really cheap. And I'll just pick a recipe, dump all the ingredients in here, and then hit dough. And then about an hour and 40 minutes later, um, my dough is ready for me to um, knead and let rise for about 30 minutes and then bake. So it will mix the ingredients, it will let it rise, it will knead uh, again, and it will let it rise again. Um, and then what I will do, and I sometimes I do this at night and go to bed and come back and work with my dough the next morning and let it rise while I am. I'll do it first thing in the morning, take my daughter to school, come back, while, and it'll be ready to bake. So I will um, take the dough out, <coughs> knead it, and then I can cut it into buns, I can cut it into rolls, I can make different size loaves, I can make it into a loaf, whatever I want to do with it, make a pizza, make a pie crust, whatever. And then when I'm making the bread, I just turn my oven on to 200 preheat and then it, once it preheats it to 200 I'll turn it off and then I'll knead my bread put it in my whatever container I'm going to bake it in and stick it in there for 30 minutes let it rise pull it out put my oven on 350 and then bake my bread so that has been working really well for me I love being able to make bread where I can just dump all the ingredients in and then come back and my dough is ready um, to do what I need to do. So being as busy as I am, that is a huge help for me to be able to make bread, make dough, make rolls, hamburger buns, all this kind of thing from scratch every day for my family. So just wanted to show you this, um, these two books again because this book right here has become my favorite. It is really amazing. It's called Bread Machine Magic by Linda Rayberg and Lois Conway. 139 ex exciting new recipes it's created especially for use in all types of bread machines. So that is the one that I've been using pretty much exclusively 
it has all kinds of different bread recipes in here dough recipes even does um sweet breads banana breads apple streusels um sweet rolls yeast rolls sourdough anything you want to make is in that recipe book and then this one was the first one that i picked up it's the better homes and gardens and it doesn't have as many but it does have some good ones in here and it has pictures which some people like pictures and it's 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 a lot more colorful layout of a book um and all that but it doesn't have the the amount of content that the other book has and it's better homes and gardens best bread machine recipes for one and a half and two pound loaves so just wanted to share that with you real quick about the bread making and what has helped me and with your goodwills and your thrift stores almost everyone that you ever go in will always have at least one bread oven there and generally they're between five and ten dollars and i wanted to try this method of bread baking out for a while um and i found out about this particular oven which i don't most of them don't do confection and this is one of the newer models that has got the most technology on it um so when i found this one i decided that that was it and that's the one i wanted and it was only five bucks and it has been a champ for me so um you can buy these new for about 279 dollars or you can keep your eye out on facebook marketplace or the um, thrift stores to get this particular oven all right well thank you very much for watching and have a great day